All right, guys, I got the coolest LED pedals on the market right now. These are from Arclight. I bought these myself, and I did a poll on my YouTube channel and on Instagram, and you guys said that you guys wanted me to put them on the Super 73. Even though we do have red pedals that match this bike, we're gonna put them on here. But first, let's check it out and unbox it. All right, let's get into it, boys. All right, red shift. Doesn't look like they have a lot of grip, though from looking at them right off the bat, doesn't look like there is really no grip. I mean, there's some metal little tabs on here, but no actual uh, screws that you can adjust or stick out or thread in or anything like that. But that's not the main thing of these. This main thing is to have some lights in the front and lights in the back. And they are labeled, so this is the left side. So if you were riding, obviously it's gonna be like that. And then when you move, Look at how that flips, that is so cool. I think that is one cool feature. So as you ride, the brake light is always gonna be in the back and the headlight is always gonna be in the front if you wanna call it a headlight. Now let's turn these off, turn them off. You just kinda hold the button down and they, they shut off. Now to pop them out, you can see there's little grooves on here. You just pretty much just gotta grab them. They're magnetic, um, it's a little hard to do with one hand. I don't have the camera on a tripod, but they look like little uh, sticks. And this part right here goes into a USB port, which it comes with a charger, and we'll show you how those plug in right now. So I will give them props on this charger. I think it's pretty cool. It has four ports on here, so that means you could plug every single one of these in here and charge them at the exact same time. It uses a USB port at the back side of it, but it does not come with a wall outlet, so you're gonna have to find one in your house or use a computer or something else. But the cool thing is, is these basically just pop right in here. They're kind of a tight fit and basically just stick up like that and they will uh, light up green when they are done charging. And to show how these go into the pedals again, since they are magnetic, pretty simple, bam, they just pop in there. And they're not gonna come out at all. You'd think they would be really hard to take out. They actually have a lot of force to pull them out. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. All right, so I'm going through the manual real quick. It says that after about 30 seconds of movement, it goes into standby mode. And then if it's 150 seconds without sensing any movement, basically the light will turn off. But as soon as you start riding again, they should turn back on. Uh, shut off time is 24 hours on sleep mode. They will completely turn off. Now the manual is telling me on the first press of a steady light, you get three hours of battery life. If you press it a second time for the flash, you get 11 hours plus. And then if you do a third press eco flash, you get 36 hours of battery life. Um, I think I would rather stick with the three hours. I like the solid steady light, it's pretty nice. But uh, we need to get these installed. So let's get this going and put them on our uh, Super 73. All right, we got the pedals installed. I will say that they don't look as good with the lights off than they do compared to the pedals that we did have on there. And like I said, the grip is not gonna be as good on these. They do look fantastic when the lights are on. I wanna check out these other modes that they do. So I think if you hit it once, it does a flashing. Yeah, so you get longer battery life if you do it like that. So if you're still riding, they still switch. So if you see that, if you, if you stay like this, they're gonna stay on the same side, but if your pedals do switch, the lights automatically go, which that's, that's such a cool feature by itself. And then if you do another one, that's how you get your longest battery life, which actually, that's a pretty cool setting too if you uh, don't really wanna have to charge these all the time. That's not too bad. All right, let's go do some flyby so you guys can see how they look when you're riding out there. Oh sweet, what do you know? Before I even got to go out there and do the test, before I do the flyby, they already turned off automatically. That's so cool that it saves battery life doing that. All right, this is going about 10 miles per hour pedaling. 10 miles an hour without pedaling. I do gotta admit, the ground effects that it gives off is so sick. It's like you got LEDs underneath your bike. I mean, I think that's so cool. All right, let's see how it looks from a far distance as I ride away down my block. All right, let's see how it is as I'm coming back. Yeah. 
Yeah, these things look sick. That is so cool. Super, super cool. Here is a quick walk around with the pedals installed on the Super 73. The only thing that's on right now is the rear brake light, that's it. But look at that, they automatically turn off after about 30 seconds and not having any motion. And then all you have to do is bump them again and they're right back on. That makes such a cool effect on this bike. Now, the thing is, are they worth the money? Um, they are very, very expensive. I don't have a lot of miles on these yet, so I really can't say if they are worth it or not. I will say if you are into style points and customization on how your Super 73 looks or any of your other bikes, you want to look cool or different to other people, 100% they are awesome. The only thing I'm worried about is the actual grip when you actually start going off road or you go off some bad bumps or something like that. Is your feet going to slide off or pop up? I'll do a vlog one of these days. We obviously do vlogs all the time. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see some stuff like that. We'll probably do it in uh, the next video or the video after that. But I love how they look. I love the fact that they turn off just in case you park it really quick so you don't have to always keep tapping the little button to turn them on and off. But if you do want them to pop on really quick, you can do that or you can just move them. But the simple fact that um, you could just turn them off by holding them for like two seconds or so. I think it's three seconds. So yeah, hold them for three seconds and then they will come off and then you know you're not running the battery down on them. But see, check this out. It goes to the front automatically, so cool. So yeah, so three seconds, one, two, three, yeah. And you're good to go. I say go buy them if you got the money to spend. They are $139, I got mine on Amazon. I think I paid like $151 with sales tax and everything like that shipped in California. That's as of today's date. I don't know if the price is gonna go up or not. But they're super cool. They came out not too long ago. A lot of people have been riding them and I can see why because it's a good safety feature if you're trying to be a lot more safer on the road for people to see you. These things are bright. If you saw the flyby footage, these things are very bright. Um, you're definitely gonna be able to be seen in the road. I thank you guys for watching the video and I put these on this bike because you voted for it. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me at Mr. Central Driver. And we do a lot of polls. I do a lot of early access and stuff like that that I'm working on before the video actually gets done. We obviously have this bike to review. We got this bike, we got the Onyx, we got an In Ingway, <laughs> uh, the Okai bike, a custom electric bike right here. We got some skateboards and everything. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe because we're always doing some cool stuff. And we're definitely gonna be doing another video on these talking about them when I go to work. So see you guys in the next one. Peace out.